Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the show. This weekend we're at Adventure Van Expo Sonoma. I'm really excited to meet that NorCal van community, so let's check out some builds. Hey, I'm here with Greg from Stay Ready, and we are, have been using Greg's Stay Ready L-Track in our van builds for the last year, and we're super stoked on it. Greg, tell us what you have this year. All right, so this year, coming live, we got our five pound propane tank holder. We can top mount that on any kind of box you have, back mount it, holes are on two inch center, and they're slotted to give you a little bit extra play. A five pounds, you're not gonna have those little green grenades laying all over your campsite, get you out farther, get you out longer. Also this year, still some great products for the motor side of the industry uh, risk racing lock and load tie down that's a strapless motorcycle tie down system here's all these amazing colors and yeah, new colors that we're offering looks like new colors for l-track this year black always a trusted true favorite for the fans goes good with any uh, floor system you need available up to nine foot six in length so that's going to take care of any of your garage areas for your sprinters and fords okay and then yeah same uh, good attachments good for 3,000 pounds uh, 2,500 if you're pulling at a 45 degree angle DOT approved track if you're drilling it on every six inch center okay if you don't want the holes there you don't need to have them there so awesome. we offer it pre-drilled or yeah that's what blind. we love we love that custom hole placement on those tracks it's, uh, we love that you guys rock it in your vans it finishes out well if you'd like to see a tour of greg's van check out our video from adventure van expo hood river thanks for the tour last time and thanks for showing us around greg absolutely all right thank you guys for coming by and remember don't get ready stay ready i'm here with alfredo from terra vans uh, tell us about your shop yeah we're a custom van shop in camarillo california we focus on a lot of wood tones and natural parts or natural elements of buildings so we okay. bring in live edge countertops some of our full showers have uh, marble in there as well and all of our cabinetry is hardwood so whether it's maple walnut oak things like that so we try to design around the wood tones we bring into the van nice can we yeah. take a look at your yeah. build what's going in all right all right so uh, this is uh built on a mercedes 144 sprinter it's a 2022 four-wheel drive it's actually one of our first four-wheel drive builds since we started so we're super stoked to have this one. Starting off here with our main uh, signature piece is our live edge countertops. We always like to start off with the live edge. So this one's walnut and then this is what starts the tone of the van. So we pick our paint colors, our fabric colors, all based off the wood tone we're going to bring in. So up in here we have all of the custom walnut cabinetry going throughout up here. Up here we have storage in here. We added a microwave for the first time and this build's been very convenient. So right down here we have pull out cassette toilet. That's nice. On some heavy duty drawer slides. We've got the Isotherm Cruise 85 as well and we're actually super stoked to try this one out if you want to come on in here but this is the pop down shower that uh, Tetra Van builds. We like to keep things custom right so because we had to raise the shower up we had to build these custom legs all that fun stuff same thing still out of walnut to match the aesthetic but this drops down here gonna click your curtains up your shower head up and you got your pop down shower super convenient to keep the space open when you're not using it because normally we've always done fixed shower builds but we want to try something out with the more open floor plan and keep it more open and inviting to have hosts and have people over so back here we have a uh, our walnut tabletop that's gonna be on these hydraulic legs here so all you gotta do is loosen this you would push this down to set up your bed cushions go in these are actually made by Rome rest as well so first time partnering with them and super stoked with their quality of work up here we have the 24 volt nomadic air conditioner which leads me to um, the battery system that we have we actually have two of the big battery 228 amp hour 24 volts uh, batteries so after you drop uh, step that down to 12 volts we have close to 900 amp hours of 12 volt battery in here pretty big system as far as water goes underneath here we've got a 36 gallon over the wheel well fresh water as well as the timberline heating system so you have on demand hot water and on demand hot air underneath the tank we're gonna have some van speed tanks we have the 25 gallon tank for gray water and as well as the 11 gallon tank gray water it's really sweet i love the the yeah. details you did here on the window. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool way to like incorporate that wood grain. Yeah, so same thing with this and like our light switches and stuff like that. We try to bring in the walnut tones everywhere. So yeah, we start off with one tonality and take it throughout. Thanks for showing us around this super comfortable and beautiful van. Appreciate if it. people want to find out more, where can they find you? Yeah, uh, you can find us online at terravans.com or on Instagram with underscore terravans. I'm here with Levi from YOLO Camper Vans. Levi, tell us about your shop. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, we're YOLO Camper Vans. We're based out of Esparto, California, YOLO County, uh -huh. hence the YOLO Camper Vans. Sweet. Uh, we do full custom van conversions, DIY help, partial builds. We do everything. So this is our one of our recent client builds. Uh, she came to us wanting something that kind of looked like our Econoline over there, but something a little bit bigger with a little bit more amenities. So this has a 440 watt solar panel, 2000 watt inverter, 28 gallon water tank, 
15 gallon gray water tank with an electric drain button. Oh, cool. We've got a whole bunch of integrated LED lighting, the cabinets for normal, you can hang your shirts or jackets in there, uh -huh. uh, an Alpicool fridge. Generally try to find like affordable solutions, uh, but still give you the amenities. Trying to keep things on like a lower price point. This was a, uh, came from like a 3D rendering that we worked on together and then kind of just work out the details as we go with, with our clients. And That's cool. Yeah, I love the caning details on the overhead doors. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. I really love the cane. Um, uh -huh. I, I think it's funny. We like to band sometimes like the, the plywood so that it looks like hardwood. Yeah. But then doing like that rounded edge on the inside kind of shows the plywood, which yeah. is like kind of contradictory to why you'd use the banding, but it's, it's fun. It's kind of cool. You know, yeah. we like to have fun and come up with uh, fun ways to implement design features. And so, it looks yeah. really good. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. What's your favorite part of the van build inside here? Um, my favorite part of the van build has got to be the pull-out kitchen. Pull-out kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, you want to show it to us? Yeah, it's in the rear over here. Right, you want to come sweet. take a look. Uh, so pull-out kitchen is a thing we like to put in all of our builds. These uh, heavy-duty rails are made by Ovis, an American company. This one's about 40 inches. I like to integrate, like, you know, fun hidden Ooh, tabletop solutions. That's a nice detail, yeah. Yeah, and uh, this stove, you know, was included with the build, so it's sized to this unit, and it also fits in the top drawer inside and fits oh, okay. on the counter in there. Uh -huh. It has a separate propane system, so it's just simple. It keeps it keeps costs down, not to have to run a lot of propane or have any other kind of measures like that. Absolutely. And then this is a little instant hot water heater. You can close these doors up and get a little that outside little shower. shower. Area? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. This looks really great. Thank you. Um, so Levi, if people wanted to find you, where can they find a little bit more information? Uh, you can check us out at yolocampervans.com or online at yolocampervans. Sweet. We're uh, holding it down in Yolo County out in the sticks there. Yeah, but, tight. Uh, yeah. I'm here with Megan from Active Van Conversions. Megan, tell us about your shop. Hi everybody. Uh -huh. So we are from Reno, Nevada and we are a full van conversion company. So everything you see here, we do. You bring us your empty Sprinter cargo van and we will put one of our floor plans for you. Let me show you some key features of what we offer. Hi everybody, welcome inside. All right, so let me show you some of the things that we are known for. As you can see, we are known for our comfortable home, tiny home vibe. We go for a modern farmhouse. You will We'll find tile and shiplap and the custom ceilings everything here you can design your own finish from the color of the paint the color of your countertop we can really make this custom for you we've got a couple different floor plans right now i'm standing in our aspen 170 floor plan now some key things about this is this is all electric appliances so we've got air conditioning heating hot water um, our refrigerator, everything in here is electric and we're designed to be off grid. So you drive around, you get the sun from the solar panels and you can be off grid indefinitely while being super comfortable and living in your own home. So that's kind of what we offer. It takes about six to eight weeks to build one of these and everything you see here can be yours. Uh, if people want to find out more about your company, where do they find you? Okay, awesome. So we are on YouTube, the.active, and you will find us on Instagram, the.active with no E. And our website is www.activevanconversions.com. You can find us on all three. I'm here with Jeremy from Vanland, and Jeremy, this big orange contraption caught my eye. Why don't you tell us about your shop and what we have here? Right on. So yeah, uh, this is the incline water heater and it's designed to heat water just off of the engine coolant system. So some of the features of it, it mounts underneath the van so you don't have to take oh. up any space in the van for heating hot water. And then since it's hooked up to the engine coolant loop, Basically every time you start your van and drive for even 10 to 15 minutes, you get four and a half gallons of really hot water. Mm -hmm. It's fully insulated, so even after you stop, let's say you set up your camp, you're gonna have hot water for up to 12 hours. Okay. So yeah, one of the things I learned when I started doing vans is that you spend so much energy heating water. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that, hey, why not just do the things that vehicle engineers do. I mean, the way that they heat the cabin, right, mm -hmm. is off of the engine. Absolutely. Why not heat your water off the engine as well? So yeah, incline water heater, it's basically free hot water every time you drive. Yeah, I think that's excellent. It's a super cool form factor. I think the size and shape is awesome. I'm really excited to hear that it goes outside the van. That's really nice. This, sure, is, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is designed to fit up under the chassis, uh -huh. so it doesn't hang down any lower, so you can take it. This is like perfect for off-roading. It's all welded aluminum, super durable. Yeah. Basically, if you buy a van and you put this on, it should last the life of the van. You're good to go. 
Cool. That's sweet. Yeah. And also the other thing we're kind of showing people today is all of the EcoFlow power kits and mm -hmm. all of their cool coolers and other stuff they're coming out with. This just makes power systems so much easier than they used to be. Yeah, we talked to these guys in San Juan. They're really cool products. Yeah. Uh, I think awesome. it's a really great jump start for van builds, and that's cool. They can pick them up on your website. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Vanland.com. Awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, man. Cheers, Jeremy. Yeah. I'm here with Brett from Lost Highway, and they're here as Vanguard Overland. Yep. Tell us about your shop. So what we are, we actually start out as Lost Highway Components. We're a manufacturer of high-end aluminum interior components galleys, bed systems, overhead cabinets. Uh, we ship them all over the country for DIY install or for builders. We have a large builder network that puts our stuff in. Kind of really helps speed up the build process. Instead of having to hand build all their cabinets, you know, one by one, they can buy our stuff, put it in, makes the process seamless. Our install shop and in, uh, exterior components and uh, is called Vanguard Overland. That's been launched recently. We're here advertising that. Some new exterior stuff we have coming out. And uh, that's also our company where we do the installs for interior and exterior. We're in Southern California. We're actually a little bit north of Southern California. We're in the high desert, Hesperia. Really hot, really dry. So we're not near the beach. <laughs> okay, yeah, totally. All right. So, uh, can we take a look at some of the Yeah, components? come on, pop inside. We'll Sweet. take a look at what we got. Okay, so here we are in our uh, kind of a mid-build stage in our little uh, standard roof sprinter we're working on this we have a pedestal galley here that's a pretty popular unit for us uh, this one has the option of a 45 liter truck fridge add-on which is really cool puts everything all into one little package folding top sink fold away faucet uh, the water can be plumbed from a remote tank this one has a, a small a low rear bed system 60 inch long kind of a, a toilet box here houses our portable toilet whichever one you want to use cassette toilet some people put buckets in there just to kind of cover it up keep it out of, out of sight uh, we put a couple jmg seats in here this one took it out for display. Uh, this will be one of our shop vans and for our, our daughter and son-in-law, they got a, a child, so we'll be able to fit four people in here and sleep four people in the back on the bed. One of our cool new products that we're, that we're designing and working on now is our roof structure pieces. This will allow you uh, pretty much a seamless flow, with no holes over the, that covers up all the factory holes in the roof ribs. Uh, you can add north to south pieces for helping hang cabinets or for mounting your headliner. If you did want to add L-Track, you can pre-drill and put L-Track in it. Uh, we do have a, a wall brace kit that allows you pre-cut holes to add L-Track if you want or just you know add a, a platform bed in those positions so this is kind of something we're getting we're launched recently we'll be able to do the full install at our shop or ship it to you directly with wall panels and L-Track yeah okay so a lot of people uh, don't really want to go with the big gnarly bumper winch expensive heavy kind of obtrusive so what we've done is we've come out with a frame mounted toe point here recovery point these are prototype brand new and they're not in production yet but they will be this coming week frame mounted uh, both sides for the sprinter okay and you can put them on the four-wheel drive uh, we'll be launching a full install video and show the final product here within another week or so awesome. got our new front engine skid plate four bolts you can just drop it change your oil you don't got to pull the oil cover plate and all that kind of stuff pretty pretty simple straightforward so there are two new products that'll be coming out this week kind of wrap up the front end of your sprinter van. Well, thanks, Brett. Uh, I'd love right. to see some awesome American-made products, cool. really high quality. If people want to find out more about your company or see some of those videos you mentioned, yep. where do they find you? Uh, LostHighwayCustoms.com or on Instagram at LostHighway underscore. LostHighway underscore. Yep. Sweet. Cool. Thanks, Brett. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers, brother. Well, that's been it for Adventure Van Expo Sonoma. Big thanks to all the builders that took their time to show us around their booths. Thanks to Neil for having a, such a great venue lined up for all of us to show off our builds. Uh, if you have any questions about the show, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.